now that you've had a couple of games under your belt here, how, how do you how do you feel about your team and how how do you, how do you see it go? Obviously, it went really well last night. Still a work in progress. Uh, I mean, it's <coughs> it's early. You know, Matag was a good, athletic, strong team, but look, they 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 still, you know, play in a league that is considered lesser than ours. You know, Nashville coming over to the West, that's going to be a good test, you know, because they've been a playoff team since their inception. So well coached by Gary, uh, you know, very strong defensively. I think they tied us for least amount of goals last year in MLS. So this will be a real test. Ask me after the game. <laughs> well, you kind of touched on it um, there. I guess, what do you know about Nashville and, and what do you kind of expect to see Sunday? Well, Zimmerman is a first choice center back for the national team and obviously his club team he's tremendous we've always liked him even when he started in lafc and stuff like that he's good you know hani mukhtar we actually scouted him extensively and almost brought him to seattle uh so we're familiar there uh i like godoy uh there's lots of players on that team that are quality mls players so it's a good team about you know your team because I know you got uh, Juan Pablo in a little bit yesterday yeah and uh, obviously Nico played seemed to play really well and uh... we're building fitness with those two I mean with everything it's got to be a you know a, a reasonable build we don't want to put them at injury risk as part of the year you know JP because of his green card came late Nico's knee was good after playing on turf so that was a positive so we'll just keep building their fitness and strength and, you know, they're, you know, really good players. So it's handy to have them on the field. Uh, there's a lot of talk about the depth of the team last year and this year. How important will that depth be during the fixture congestion? During We've had depth since 2016, 2017, 18. We've always had a fairly deep squad. Maybe the depth pieces have become younger. Maybe I would say that. I mean, nobody thought Obed would come and start the first two games of the year. Josh last year starting a couple games. So I think the depth has always been good. And, you know, it's just a little younger. Sometimes those young guys will have aches and pains and growing pains. But, you know, I think it's a good squad. It's a deep squad. We'll, we'll need them all. And, you know, further we go in Champions League and start of the year, you know, we'll need them all. What are your thoughts on playing uh, Club Leon uh, the quarterfinals, the team that you faced last year? It's a great team. Very well coached. Those were exciting. That was an exciting match. Uh, you know, I thought we were close in that game in the final. You know, we scored that second goal. Maybe things turn out differently, but that's woulda, shoulda, coulda. Um, so that'll be a big test for us, but we're ready. We already started the messaging. I think the players understand what a big game it is, what a big team it is. So we'll be ready. I guess with the, you know, the start of the season, everyone's all excited. You know, the big, the big start of the season. How, how do you see the league going? And how do you see MLS and this division kind of shaping up? You mean the West? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of good teams. A lot of teams are making changes and progress and you know, we have to keep up with all those guys we did with Albert signing. Uh, but it's going to be a dogfight as usual. You know, MLS is becoming a harder and harder league to consistently be, you know, in the playoff hunt, in the supporter shield hunt, in the MLS Cup hunt. I mean, it's getting harder. And that's just the growth of our sport in this country. And I think it's great. Lastly, uh, <coughs> home opener Sunday for MLS action. Hope to have a big crowd. Yeah. How important the crowd and maybe a little something that, that uh, the crowd can do to help you guys out this weekend? Well, I do know, I know that there'll be a good crowd. Our home openers are always well attended. You know, looking forward to see everybody. Uh, you know, I've heard through the grapevine that there's that 50 year anniversary stuff coming up and you know, 74th minute, they're going to get everybody to sing, I think, Sounders Till I Die or some version of that. So that'll be good. I think there's a few new things during the walkout. I think Boom Boom Clap's still in there, some of the traditional stuff. But, you know, I'm looking forward to an entertaining Sunday. 
you know, for the fans that show up, a good soccer game and, you know, all the fanfare that comes with, you know, attending a Sounders match at Lumen Field. I think it's going to be great.